Hello friends. So in this particular video tutorial, I am going to discuss the difference between strong artificial intelligence and weak artificial intelligence. See, many times whenever we learn the concept of artificial intelligence, this is very common question that usually ask. And this is very basic question in which we sometimes get some kind of confusion that actually what strong artificial intelligence is and what weak artificial intelligence is. So I'm just trying to clear this uh, doubt. Uh, let's see how we are going to elaborate it. So first about the introduction of strong and weak AI phenomena. Uh, in 1980, John Serrale coined this specific terms, some statements regarding uh, AI hypothesis in terms of strong form and weak form. So in strong form, it states that an artificial intelligence system that can think and have a mind. So if you are just thinking about a machine uh, that actually has some mind, that actually has uh, some capability of thinking, in that case, we will say that that is strong form of artificial intelligence. While on the other hand, the very common part that we are currently seeing uh, our nearby artificial intelligence examples like card games, board games and so on, in which we think that they are smart, but actually they are not using their own mind for that one. In that case, machine do not have their own mind. They do not have their own thinking, but they are following the instructions that have been filled uh, in form of databases or some other ways. Uh, but actually, they don't have their own mind. So we will say that this kind of artificial intelligence is weak form of that one. Let's go to the definition of strong AI and weak AI. As per the definition, strong artificial intelligence, you can define it as a phenomena under which such machines can be built which can actually use human intelligence in their functions. So as we have stated earlier, that if we are going, if we have developed some machines, which uh, do have same intelligence uh, or which normally perform their functions by using the intelligence as humans do. Okay, so in that case, we will say that kind of artificial intelligence is strong artificial intelligence. Machines which are able to represent the human mind in the activities they perform will be called strong artificial intelligence. So if you see any machines which you think uh, that which basically using, which basically representing the human mind in the activities that they're performing, any kind of activity, say uh, any computer game uh, you are using, suppose you are playing chess with computer. In that case, if computer is uh, taking different steps by following its own mind, by developing its own logic. In that case, you will say that is strong AI. On the other hand, if the same computer game is following some instructions that has been filled by the programmer, or by any other expert person into it, in that case, we will say, we will see normally that it is behaving intelligently. It is normally, it do have possibilities that uh, it will beat any strong player of the same game by its intelligence but at the same time the intelligence is being filled by some human being that's why we will say it's weak artificial intelligence it's not actually strong artificial intelligence because in strong artificial intelligence we are just trying to develop uh, some machines that do have their own brains, that do have their own capability of thinking, developing and performing different activities as we humans can do. So weak artificial intelligence is the phenomena that machines which are not too intelligent to do their own work can be built in such a way that they seem smart. Okay, so we have machines, they are not too intelligent to do their own work, but we have built them in such a way that they seem smart even by their working they can beat they can defeat human beings also best example to express weak ai say will be the card game in the computer in which people play against the computer and most of the times the computer is able to beat human being right so in that case any specific computer games that we are seeing nowadays you can see how intelligent they are how intelligently they take their steps. So you can never say that uh, computer is not performing that step. But still, we all know that there is something behind. Some instructions, some steps have been filled in, in terms of databases or informations or knowledge bases into the computer by which it is taking steps, by, by which it is deciding what it should do now. 
So it's not strong artificial intelligence. It's generally the example of weak artificial intelligence. So let's see the comparison chart. Definition wise, the machines in strong AI, machines can actually think and perform tasks on its own like human beings. While in weak AI, devices cannot follow these tasks on their own, but are made to look intelligent. Functionality wise, strong AI, the algorithms are stored by computer program itself. While in weak AI, tasks or the algorithms are entered manually to be performed by any programmer or expert person. In terms of examples, there is no no general examples we can say that follows strong artificial intelligence. There are definitely some very close to strong AI examples like Sophia, Android F, IBM Watson. These all are the basic examples that we can say that very near to strong AI, but not actually strong AI, we can say. While in terms of weak AI, there are a lot of examples we can see um, an automatic car, remote control devices, or many other card games or chess games and so on. Progress wise, we are in very initial stage right now for strong AI, while in terms of weak AI, we are in very advanced stage. So if we talk about the summary of that one, you have already understood that we will say a machine or a program as strong artificial intelligence if it do have capability of developing the programs by its own, if it do have the if it do have capability of thinking by its own, we do not provided any predefined logic or algorithms or something to that machines in that case we will say that is strong ai while in case of artificial intelligence weak artificial intelligence any machine which behave intelligently which behaves smartly but every time it follow the instructions that has been filled previously by some person or some expert uh, in that case we will say that is weak ai so guys this is enough for this video in next video lecture we will just discuss about very close to strong artificial examples that we have discussed in this specific video till then please like and subscribe thank you very much